Leo, what is the EU using Russia as an excuse for now? Oh, my God. So the EU is bringing through uh, regulations around solar panels. So they're going to make solar panels mandatory on all new buildings in the European Union uh, under a new proposal aimed at ending Europe's reliance on Russian fossil fuels by 2027 and supercharging the transition to green energy so they can pick up that baton yeah. you were talking about. I mean, uh, this is going to be fantastic. Solar, power, solar panels on every rooftop in Aberdeen. Oh, the, the electricity is just going to fly out of us. What an amazing idea. No, yeah, I mean... The power dialysis machine for a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That thing on the Ministry of Defence. So, yeah, I mean, this uh, it come, is coming from a, a good place. You know, we obviously need to, to fill the gap that's going to be left from, uh, yeah. from Russian oil. Because, you know, like Germany alone is still paying a billion pounds a day yeah. to Russia. So it's, it's paying for his war. Uh, but, you know, we need to think a bit smarter. There's no point putting solar panels in Scotland. We should perhaps look at putting them in Morocco or putting them in well, North you say Africa. That, but actually, I mean, I take your point in Aberdeen, but Germany is, is much more um, efficient than Spain, for instance, with its solar use. It, it's much more successful in its... So even the solar panels are lazier in Spain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's just fewer of them. But, I mean, you would think if you, if you covered... Yeah, the, the rural parts of Andalusia. With yeah. so you could probably power Europe. With yeah, that, right. But but it, of course it's it's distribution. It's still you, yeah. you lose a lot in the in the in the wires. And but um, but it, I mean Germany, which the weather in Germany is not, maybe not as bad as Aberdeen, but it's not great. But yeah. they are capable. It's, well, the, there, there is something to this. The know? other thing is that solar panel efficiency is is just increasing every yeah. year. It's like yeah. that that curve for the for yeah. computer processing That's power. Right. Yeah. So you know the the, and, the price and is the coming. The price down. Is, is very very much so. So yeah. we're all agreement on. This. No, I think the EU has great ideas, and I like their work. What I did love in here was somebody who's one of the experts that's behind all this said a great quote that sounded like it could have come from this government that said the cheapest energy. Energy is the energy you don't use mm. and telling nice. people to turn things off, turn the heat down. Yeah. And basically, you know, if you're worried about the energy crisis, don't use any. It's quite it's interesting just... as well. We got a smart meter recently, you know, and obviously it's horrifying certain things, but other things are actually quite affordable. You can have all the lights on in a house now. It costs about a penny an hour. I mean, those new light bulbs, the, the mm. non incandescent ones, you know, various yeah. Yeah. forms of that absurdly cheap. So you can actually make the house feel quite cheerfully, like, lit. Do you know what I mean? That, yeah. I'm not saying it's the same as warm, but it can actually <laughs> be fun. Whereas a kettle, boiling a kettle... Really? Oh, my God! <laughs> it's so expensive. And my wife... And I've been saying this for years, but now I have it in digital form. She will fill the kettle... To the top. To, to the top to yeah. make a cup of tea. Why? I don't yeah. know. You're boiling a bath full of, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if you just fill the amount that you need and boil it, yeah. you will save. I mean, that could add up to a pound a day if, you, if, you're, if you're a dozen cups of tea a day. Well, you should get one of those taps from the GB News kitchen. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Boiling water comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.